Iraqis. Those guys are man. Did you know we were bombing Iraq again? It's, it's not even news now, is it? I saw it on CNN's Entertainment Minute. It's barely news. <laughs> we're bombing Iraq. We just love to bomb that guy. He's on such a short leash with us. We used to bomb him for real stuff, you know? Hussein invaded Kuwait. Bomb him! Now it's like, he had red wine with fish. Bomb him! <laughs> He's wearing white pants after Labor Day. Drop the bombs! <laughs> Why do we always have to fight Iraq? We're the number one military in the world. Is Iraq even ranked? How do we get to fight them? <laughs> Don't they at least have to get through England before they get to us? What? <laughs> My feeling is we have no business being in the Middle East at war. We have no business <laughs> fighting over there. There's no reason for it. And you know what? I'm a Jewish guy. I've been to Israel. I'm really glad it's there. But I'll tell you what, there will never be peace there. Those are religious wars. Too many people have too many claims on too small a piece of land. Every major religion began in Israel. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam all began in Israel. All began in Jerusalem. All began within like a two block radius of each other. Do you have Jesus, Mohammed, and Moses all went to the same high school. There will never be peace there. They're so cut. You get off the plane in Israel and immediately it's like, Welcome to Israel, the Holy Land. Huh. Great, I'm from America, home of the Whopper. Nice to see you. It's not going to happen. Oh, and still, when I see the young Jewish girls, the young Jewish girls still love to go to Israel. That 18, 19 years old Jewish girls, they're going to go there and they're going to help their country. I'm going to go help my homeland. They get over there and man, the Israeli soldiers are just lining up to see them. They're so excited. We are so glad you came here. <laughs> it is very difficult to live in this country. Tomorrow I am to be shipped off to the Golan Heights. <laughs> where I may lose my life. Touch it, please. Touch it. Come on, you can do it. Touch it. You can do it. I wanna do it. Why are we flying thousands? Of, we need an enemy closer to home. We're out there thousands and thousands of miles away bombing people. Why? Gee, people, don't, Canada's right here. They're just waiting for us. We could drive our shit to the border and just throw it over. <laughs> they don't even have an army, just two guys on horseback. I'll save you. That's it. <laughs> Be easy. Are there any Canadians here tonight? <laughs> Are you? Oh. <laughs> You're not going to tell them about our plan, are you? <laughs> you got to be careful because they look just like us. You know, they can sneak in. <laughs> I was actually, you know what? I was in Canada. This Canadian woman wouldn't leave me alone. What do Americans really think about Canada? Oh, you can tell me. What do Americans really think about Canada? And I was like, we don't. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, until we run out of natural resources, you guys are pretty safe. <laughs> but when that day comes... Hey, Canada, how's it going? Um... Um, we're out of wood. <laughs> I don't know how to put this, uh, get out. <laughs> we would do it too. We're great. We're the country that bombed Somalia. <laughs> we bombed a country without copper wiring. <laughs> of course, we fed them first. <laughs> Did you have a nice sandwich? <laughs> Good. Now run! <laughs> I'm getting a cramp. <laughs> Never eat a half hour before bombing. <laughs> we have the number one military in the world right now. We're number one. <laughs> <laughs> and we're 15th educationally. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Smart bombs, really stupid children. That's what we've got. In the next war, the bombs will be way too smart and valuable. We'll just have to drop illiterate school children on the country we're fighting. 
Wouldn't that be a nice video from the Pentagon? Uh, coming up, you'll see the War Ministry in that little white blip headed towards the building. That's Jimmy Dixon from Bronx Elementary. He's nine. He's got a can of spray paint. He's going to vandalize the roof. Here he goes. He's going to write, eat me, right on the ceiling. They hate that. Let's see. E-E-T. We have so many weapons. And I'm not afraid of retaliation from other countries, because we are very strong. I'm sure we'll all be saved by the emergency broadcast system. I'm not worried about it. What a useless piece of shit that turned out to be. What if you're not watching TV or listening to the radio? Do they just come to your door? You know what the emergency broadcast system is a test of? Your remote control. That's it. As soon as it comes on. This is a test. Click. Yep, still works. Beautiful. Let me put this away. I click off constantly. I'm watching the political conventions and the politics. God, I want to care about that stuff, but I can't. You watch politics on TV, man. There's more believable characters on Melrose Place. What do they think they're doing? Who do they think they're fooling with that shit? These, why is it whenever somebody wants to be elected, suddenly they become us? Suddenly they want to be played as the common man. Bob Dole's been in the Senate for 35 years. He wants to be president now, suddenly he's Citizen Bob. I'm the common man. I'm just like you. You go to Hooters? Wow. <laughs> be the common man. Be better than us. You want to be president? Be better than us. Lead us. We don't know shit. We've been swept away by the Macarena. What the fuck do we know? Be better than us. <laughs>